Hey you guys, I'm back with another word and I'm excited for this word. I'm excited for you guys to be here. For those of you guys that are new to Be Real Light, welcome. And we are a family here in love and through faith and through the word of God. And so let's pray and get right into this word. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your power, your love, and your sound mind that is bestowed over every single person that is listening and watching this video. I pray that you bless them, Father God, that you have your way in their lives. I pray that you protect us like you tell us in Psalm 91, and I thank you, Lord, that as I decrease, you increase, and that you speak through my lips like clay, that I'm relying only on your wisdom and understanding, Father God, and I just pray that you reveal your revelation to us during this time, through this word, that you will confirm it in our spirits. And we thank you, Father God. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys. So, as I was waking up this morning, um, I just felt it in my spirit, the Lord wanting us to, uh, to go back to that position of receiving. To go back to that position. This word is so for me as well. Um, to go back to that position of understanding his faithfulness and knowing that if God called you to step out in faith and do something or go somewhere or um, you're fulfilling an assignment, right? You're in the middle of your assignment. Um, and again, please take this word before God and pray over this word that he confirms this word to you because God is the perfecter of all things and he will make this word very evident. Um, if you hear barking, I do apologize. It's my roommate's dogs. This is why I like, I like to talk in my car because of less distractions, but... Um, I do apologize for that. Um, so um, when it comes to God wanting us to position our hearts back and tying it into his faithfulness, it is because he wants us to have faith to believe again, like believe what he spoke. And I know I talked about this and maybe the, like the last 24 hours, if you watch like the previous video, which I encourage you to watch that it is it is so prophetic. It is just like the Lord speaking and bringing us back to a heart posture of what he spoke because he's God. If God said something and spoke over your life, then he's bringing that to pass. He's not a man that you shall lie. He's not going to tempt you by telling you something and not fulfill it. I think oftentimes when we get weary and worrisome and tired and restless, it is because we're trying to handle what we've already given to God. It's like, it's like taking it back after we've given it to him, right? He wants us to grab onto his cloak of peace, of joy, of knowing he's God. He's King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace. God is a God of order. So when you're waiting, you keep on waiting because he's perfecting that very word he, he spoke over your life because he has to receive all the glory in what he does. That's why for many of us, he's surprising us with a lot of the promises he's spoken. We're not going to see this coming. Like We're going to be like, God did this because there was no way in the world that I could have imagined it to be the way that I thought it was going to be. The way he's doing what he has promised in your life, it is to surprise you, but also to get receive all the glory. He's God. Um and so he was speaking to me about going back to a heart posture in him, a place where I believe again. So for many of you guys that are preparing, being prepared, being pruned, for those of you guys that have crossed over and are crossing over in this hour, remember that God's not having you to cross over into dry land. He's having you to cross over into an abundant and prosperous, growing very rich in his glory land. So this is something he was reminding me for the last two days. Remember what I've spoken to you. I've had you be, I, I've uprooted you and moved you to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. So when you believe, believe that it's already done. When you go into a place or if you're believing in finances, if you're believing in your bills to be paid, if you're believing in gas in your car, if you're believing in having food to eat for the day, that he's going to take care of you because that's who he is. He doesn't, we don't miss a single thing with him. And so if he's having us to really wait on him for whatever that looks like, it could be maybe your bills. Um, he's been speaking to so many of us in this season about our bills being paid. Um, he wants us to go back to a place of trusting him, even in our finances. Um, a little testimony, you guys. I have to share this because I feel the Lord leading me to share this. So um, you may think when you see, pe you know, you see other prophetic channels, you see people on here and they're sharing the word of the Lord that their life may be perfect. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you, no, 
it is those that are in ministry, you and I that are in ministry and walking as the body of Christ that we, we're human. We still go through personal things, um, but we just learn to trust God through it. And so oftentimes our testimonies, it is what helps other people. And so I'm sharing this because I know it's going to bless somebody today. Um, if not so many of you guys. And so um, the Lord really wanted me to trust him in my finances not too long ago. And so I have a car notes, car payments. And so, um, you know, my bank was a little dry not too long ago. It was, it was a little dry. And it, it was very unlikely because I was just used to, um, you know, having funds being taken care of. And so this was a true test of God where I was like, I'm going to fast and I'm going to pray and I'm going to leave it in God's hands because I was stressing for a second. I'm like, how am I going to make my car payment? The next one's almost due. And so I'm just a person that likes to do things on time. And God really, you know, he's, he's mysterious in so many ways, but so perfect. So after I was stressing a little bit, I gave it to him. I said, God, you brought me here. You gave me this car. So I'm believing that you're going to take care of the finances, the bills. You're, you're taking care of all of these things. And I fasted. And after my fast, um, literally the next day, God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. The next day, I was able to make my entire car payment because of someone's donation. I was able to make that car payment and then have extra in my account. So God doesn't just give you what you need. He get, He does exceedingly and abundantly all that you can ever ask or imagine. That's how he works. And so I was able to make my payment. And you don't understand, like this may be small to somebody, but to someone else, this is a breakthrough that God is coming through in your finances. God is breaking you through in your relationships. God is breaking you through in your ministry, in that project, that business idea he gave you. And he didn't give it to you for no reason. He gave it to you for you to stand in total faith in him, for you to continue to water that seed, that when that seed flourishes and that seed sprouts, that is going to become your harvest because of what you've planted. Amen. I'm just prophesying and speaking over so many people today that have been waiting on the Lord. God has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten about you. If he spoke a word, if he's led you somewhere, that means he's providing. Where God guides, he provides. The entire way that I've made all the way out here to California, he has taken care of me. I've had food. I've had shelter. I've had He's my support system. So man may fail us. Man may lose our trust and loyalty, but God never will. So that's why he wants us to put all of our trust in him and not the things of this world. My car is a material. It is something that can be t easily taken away. So in that case, he presented this very blessing to me. He presented me to have a home. So I know he provides and he sees everything just because maybe there's one bill, two bills, three bills, four bills behind. He sees that, but he's waiting on your faith for you to activate your faith in him to know that he can provide for you. God has not forgotten you. He is, he's our bill collector. <laughs> he is our lawyer. He's our doctor. He's our friend. He's our first love. He's everything and when you acknowledge God in all of your ways like this way what I'm speaking today as a testimony he comes through not on our time but his so I want to encourage you guys to continue to stand in hope in God believe again what God spoke over your life he's not a man that he shall lie maybe there's been too many voices around you giving you too many opinions um and that's something that God wants us to come back to is to have a relationship with him above anyone else's. He wants us to know him and to trust him and to believe in him again for what he spoke. Um, oftentimes when opposition comes is because there's a great blessing ahead of you and the enemy knows how powerful that is. So he tries to distract us. He tries to use whoever and whatever he can. So when you see opposition and you're going to opposition, opposition, that is a great time to pray. That is a great time to worship and know that God is faithful. Read his word. His word is a lamp to our feet. He guides every step that we take. And to know that it's to know him, it's to know his word, it's to be a doer of his word, it's to be faithful to him. So I pray that this word encourage you guys. Um, the Lord is moving exponentially. I know I say this a lot, but I really, truly believe that his timing is his timing. Um, he sits outside of time. He doesn't work on our, on our clock, but 
he does see everything. And so if you're in an area where maybe you're, it's dry, there's a dry season in your life right now, or maybe this is a dry season for you. Um, God doesn't remove to tempt us or to be a mean God or a father. He is waiting on our faith in him to declare and to plead and to ask him. He says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door will be open to you. Seek and you shall find. I believe that's Matthew 7, 7. So I encourage you guys with this word today. I pray that it blesses so many of you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless.